thousands of years ago, probably when the Asians, when Asian people crossed the Bering Straits during the Ice Age. That's globalization. Marco Polo is globalization. Vasco da Gama is globalization. Uh, fur exchanges between the French and the Native Americans in the uh, 18th century and even earlier in the 17th century, that's globalization. So globalization is an ongoing process. And migration is what humans do. We're acting as if migration was, you know, people from outside Europe and America coming to those two places. Uh-uh. Migration has always existed. It's probably the oldest human activity. Going from point A to point B because it sucks in point A and I want a better life in point B, that's what we do. We've always done it and we will always do it. You can build all the walls you want. This is not going to stop because this is what we do. Now the thing, the difference is that in the modern era, essentially migration was unilateral. It was from developing countries to developed countries. It was from east to west. It was from south to north. Today what we're seeing is that many parts of the world, in many parts of the world, you're seeing the underdog in a rich country find it impossible to be treated properly in that country and he's moving to China. Or what was called not long ago the developing world. And so this is the new, this is the, this is the new paradigm. It's, migration has always been a means of emancipation for mankind, but it's never been easier, it's never been uh, uh, less expensive, and it's never been so uh, multi-directional. And that's a wonderful thing.